Kingston is on the Kitsap Peninsula. It's the kind of charming small town where big dreams can come true. <laughs> okay. Craig Smith is the man behind the marquee at the Firehouse Theater. Run that puppy. From prepping the projector to making the popcorn, he's the star of this one-man show. So why do you love movies so much? I just like the emotion, the uh, ability to capture something and retain it. Why do we need small town movie theaters? Well, I like to think it's, a, it's the working Joe's art form. There's movie theaters all across the country. There's less of them now. But taking your wife to the movie, your kids, I mean, it's a cultural event. I mean, I grew up with it. And I want to keep that alive. Oh, well, who's that guy? On this typical day, there's a tender moment. His favorite Maybe role is grandpa, fan. after all. Well, are you here for Fantastic Fungi? Yeah. And once the doors right. are officially open, Craig takes tickets and runs the concession stand, too. We want some of that Fantastic Fungi you've been serving. Oh, are you a fun guy? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tell everybody. Did you want butter on that popcorn? Well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. The straws are Folks come you. here for the special touches that you just can't get at the multiplex. He's friendly and outgoing. He just treats all of the people who come to this theater as friends and neighbors. Dots. <laughs> you can't get dots at most of the big theaters anymore. Craig, you know, he, he sits there and tells us all about the movie, and it's really neat. It's really neat. Everybody claps for him. That's right. Before each show, Craig gives the audience some fun facts like only a true film aficionado can do. Time-lapse photography. He's the world's renowned cinematographer of that. What are your favorite movies? I like The Quiet Man, John Ford, John Wayne, Reno O'Hara. I also scary movies, I like Alien, you know, Sigourney Weaver. Boy, that's a great movie. It's actually more of a haunted house movie than it is a sci-fi movie. Like good cinema, Craig's own tale has had some unexpected twists and turns. Was this your dream? Yeah, I always liked the idea of a movie theater. So about a decade ago, he opened up in a converted fire station, serving this tiny community of about 2,000. Things were going well. Then the script for his life story got flipped. So every great hero has like that moment where things look like they're going to hell in a handbasket, right? What was your moment? Well, I had a heart attack and died right here. Right here? We, I was laying there, they got me on a gurney and oh they gosh. put me in the back of the ambulance and then they revived me and I was mad they did. You were mad? Oh yeah, I was so peaceful. I had a friend calling out, hey Craig, you wanna play ball? I said, no, I don't think I can, but yeah, yeah, I wanna play ball. Then they zapped me. I didn't know that I had died and come back. So that, that would be definitely a big challenge. Yeah, but when you go through something like that, you, you don't fear death anymore. But you're gonna have a little, I think I'm more peaceful now. And so I get closed down, you know, you get closed down. You did what you could do. That's always been the underlying concern. Craig spent $400,000 of his own money to remodel the firehouse in 2008. Then there were the new projectors with a price tag of $146,000. Playing catch up on those, you know, digital projectors that all the theaters had to convert to about six years ago now. And then the credit cards because, you know, it's a seasonal kind of business. And it's up and down, so a couple months a year you got to pay the rent with a credit card. And the second mortgage on the house when we ran out of money under the end of construction. A few months ago, it was looking like there could be no happy ending. As a last resort, Craig and his family set up a GoFundMe page. We got to $100,000 in eight hours. It was just amazing. I'm still amazed by the whole thing. I'm touched and, I mean, I'm humbled. I'm the local community rallied around him. Most of them are five, 10, $15. People on fixed incomes, it just in memory of a theater they used to go to. Or Thanks to some national media attention, donations kept pouring in. We've had a couple big ones actually from some Hollywood people. Director Judd Apatow gave 500 bucks. There's uh, Kathleen Kennedy, Frank Marshall. They produce like Spielberg movies, Star Wars movies. She's the current president of Lucasfilm. And she said, wonderful letter. The spirit of going to the movies is alive and well in Kingston. As a token of my own appreciation, I'm including a personal donation of $5,000 to support your efforts. 
that said, we want you to keep your Frank Capra life alive. She really. At last count, the total amount raised was around $225,000, enough to pay off the debt and plan for the future. It's phenomenal. It's, it's altered my life. No idea that it would be like this. I want to thank everyone who has given to this. It's so meaningful. We are now taking actions to repair things, put in things that were supposed to be in here in the first place we couldn't afford. Craig has used the interest in his story to spotlight other independent movie houses across the country. What I'm trying to do is encourage people to go support their local movie theater. Because we got to keep this art form alive. It's how movies should be seen and shared. And the emotion, you know, and the auditorium that connects people. So I gotta ask you, if, if this story was a movie, and you're the leading man, who, who would play Craig? Uh, I wouldn't mind Jimmy Stewart. Okay, Tom Hanks, why not? Let's go for it. You know, Tom Hanks. But it'd be kind of a Frank Capra story. It truly is a wonderful life for Craig Smith. Small town, kind of feel good movie. Uh, it feels really good to me now. Uh, and perseverance and a community rallying around you in spite of yourself and, you know, feeling good at the end of the movie. Malia Karlinski, Seattle Refined.